sat on the dog. <laughs> Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Annette from Net Sews. Um, this is my channel about sewing and what I've been up to in the sewing world and crafting and my bear making and bits and pieces. So I haven't seen you now, it's been a month. It seems that every time I go to the um, my sewing social from the Staffordshire social, um, I do a video and then it goes a whole month before I do another one. So I haven't seen you over Christmas, I didn't see you New Year, so Happy New Year. I um, hope you all had a good Christmas if you celebrate Christmas, if you just had some nice relaxing time. Um, yeah, I hope, you, I hope everyone's well. And where, what did I want to say? I've got a lot to share with you actually, so um, I don't want to waffle on for hours, and let's, so let's motor through it. But before I start, I, did, I uh, videoed a little clip. I'm bumbling, sorry. I videoed a little clip and it was around December time of the, my grandchildren's makes that I've made. I made them an outfit each. Um, I've got two boys, grandchildren. Uh, Albie's nearly four, he'll be four in March and Arlo's just turned one in November. So I made them an outfit, a Christmas matching outfit. Um, yeah an outfit out of Christmas material. I did show you the fabric. Um, I got the fabric from Little Leg Legs Fabrics. Um, I showed you, I think it was in my last video, I might show you that one. What's the matter? What's, do I smell? <laughs> there you go, yes, we're going to walk after this. Um, yeah, so I did show you the material, uh, I did share it. I didn't get to do any other Christmas makes, actually. I bought some Rudolph um, material to make myself a shirt and didn't get around to it. Didn't get much sewing done, to be fair, but Anyway, I'll pop that video in of me sharing um, the outfits because obviously I wanted to show you them and then I gave them as a gift so I had to record it because um, I've got them to show now. My son's making noises in the background. You can hear anything strange. Um, so I'll pop the video in. Hi, um, I'm just going to slide this into my video. Excuse the state of me. No makeup. It's 10 o'clock on... Saturday the 16th of December, is that right? Is it the 16th? Seventeenth? Seventeenth. Saturday the 17th of December. No, 16th. 16th of December. <laughs> we'll get there in the end. Anyway, I'm just wanted to slide this into my video. Um because it's Saturday evening. I've not had much time to sew today. I was hoping Saturday was my day off. I'd get loads of time to sew. And the day's just whizzed away with me. And I haven't done a lot. So I started sewing about five o'clock this evening. And I've just finished these. And they're for my grandchildren. Who I will see tomorrow and give them. Um, so I wanted to quickly show you them. Before I give them to them. <laughs> Sorry. Um, it's late. So I have made... The Brindlin twig, I showed you this material before, and I've made the Brindlin twig uh, vintage sweater and the Brindlin twig mini modern jockers. I've made them a pair each. <laughs> so, as I say, I'm seeing them tomorrow. We're going over to see my mum and dad and uh, yeah, so I shall give them to Justin, otherwise Christmas is going to be over before they get a chance to wear them. Aren't they cute? <laughs> so tiny are they. Little thread hanging there. This is the first thing I've made for Arlo. I've not made him anything. I've made Albie a few things, but I've not made Arlo anything. He's so tiny. In fact, I hope they fit him. But anyway, so yes, I made these out of my Christmas um cotton jersey material from Little Leg Fabrics. It's a lot thinner than I thought it was going to be because they didn't know <coughs> what cotton jersey was. They're a bit more like pyjamas, but hopefully they'll like them. So I've got two little sweaters, fumbling about with things as I usually do on my vlogs. Two, two little sweaters, so that's Albie's and Arlo's. And I'm really happy with those. Now, I haven't enjoyed making them. Sorry, if you hear that banging, that's the dog's freaking me out a little bit. Sorry, I'm on my own and um, 
not usually that nervous, but a bit freaked tonight. I don't know why. And it, Woody's acting really strange. Steve's on nights. Um, well, actually, he's coming back. He'll be back about 12 o'clock tonight. So, but yeah, I've just had a real scare. My heart's pounding. I could hear this banging. I thought it was someone banging on the back door, and I was terrified. I actually got my sewing scissors. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. got my sewing scissors and my phone, and I thought, I'm going to have to run out the front in my slippers and my jama bottoms. Um, and yeah, it turned out it was Ella who was sat under the table. Don't knock that off, Woody. Come sit down. It was Ella who was sat under the table and she was scratching and she was banging on the radiator. But yeah, and then he's sticking his head out the cat, out the dog flap and barking and looking really weird. Will you stop? She's freaking me out. She's here. <laughs> anyway, not enjoyed making these. Not sure why. I've made... I made a couple of things in Jersey recently. I've done the Nina Lee uh, South Bank sweater and I did some Sew so, so, so House 7 uh, toaster sweater. And making those has made me decide I need an overlocker. But it's just so painful on all my sewing machine. You're chugging away each seam, it takes forever. Yeah, and I don't know, I've just not enjoyed making these. It started off really well. I took this to the social, sewing social with me last week, took, both, took all of them, didn't get very far. Um, got in a bit of a piddle with the neck and Heather and Ruth, bless them, helped me. Heather gave me some ribbing, Ruth showed me how to put things in, how to put it in and she let me have a go on her overlocker. Um, yeah, and it, oh, the seam finish is just so much nicer, so I've decided I'm in, investing in an overlocker, uh, which is another story. So that's that, with Heather's lovely ribbon on the neck and then I used the same material for the cuffs and the bottoms and then I did the same on little Arlo, she very kindly haven't let me have enough of both of them. Made such a difference because this material just hasn't got the stretch in it. I got a little neckband about that big and I'm like they're not going to be able to get their heads through it let alone can I fit it in. So I'm not sure why I haven't enjoyed making them really, maybe it is the fact that I'm, I'm kind of like knowing my head now I want an overlocker and I've just not enjoyed chugging along. But I've done them. They're okay. I did the jumpers, no problem. They're really nice. So Heather and um, Ruth helped me with the neckbands. And yeah, they came out nice. But then the trousers I got in a bit of a mick with. <laughs> They're supposed to have knee patches on the front and pockets on the back. And it's supposed to be a drawstring waist. Well, I've got, I'm not doing that. I'm just doing elastic. So I've done an elastic waist. I've put the cuffs on the bottom. And I've omitted the knee patches on this. Basically, I haven't got enough material. He's going to be on a settee now. Woody, you're being really weird. Come out. Oh, he's probably freaking me out. We've had the tractors go past tonight. Well, not the tractors, the lorries and the tractors, and they've all been pipping the horns. And the, he's frightened of fireworks. I can't hear any fireworks. He's just being a bit odd. Let's give him freaking me out, dog. Yeah, I'll put a bit of footage about of that in as well, actually, because um, that was quite cute. I don't know, I lost count of how many tractors went past and lorries with the, the Christmas um, decorations on. It was quite sweet. And Stacey's car has been here all week because she's had it service. And I'd left that on the road. I was proper like, oh, I've had Stacey's car. Anyway, where was I with this? Yes, pockets on the back, knee patches on the knees. Um, I decided to just put the pockets on the back of this one. These are Albies. I got in a mess with the one pocket, but hey ho, I was past caring. Didn't put the patches on his knees because I didn't have enough material. And then I cut the pockets out for Arlo's. Arlo's I made last, and I really couldn't be bothered to put them on the back. I mean, he's only one. He needs pockets. He's one year old. Oh yeah, I made a mess. So the mini modern joggers have got like pockets here, and on. Albies, I've made Albies before, I've, I've made them as shorts and I remembered to alter the fronts to omit the pockets so I made the pattern a little bit bigger you know on the corner if that makes sense. Of course I forgot didn't I with all those, cut it out, came to sew it together tonight and I'm like I can't figure out what I've done with these trousers and then I realised I've left the little piece here for pockets and I haven't got any pockets so I've had to like Put in a little can you say there and there I've had to fudge it a bit i'm always fudging my shop my shop my sewing but i was past caring i just thought i just want them finished 
Um, I didn't put the pockets on the back, but then I did have enough material, just managed to squeeze out, out of the scraps the knee, knee, pat, uh, knee patches. See, they've got knee... Because I thought, because he's crawling and he doesn't walk yet, that might be quite handy for him. So I say, I put them on here, he's left them off Albies. Albies have got pockets, oh, that doesn't. So they're quite sweet. I have twisted the waistband on. <laughs> oh, I, I put the... um. I put the waistband on and then realised I'd not put the elastic in. I think I've just lost the wheel with them. I've got fed up with making them, so I made a few mistakes. Yeah, I put the waistband in and then realised I hadn't put the elastic in. And I'm like, oh, so I've had to undo it, put elastic in. It's twisted. Hey-ho. They're not going to notice. <laughs> They're done. Yeah, I think it's the overlocker thing. So anyway, when I went to the sewing social, I mentioned that I wanted an overlocker. I just decided I thought I need an overlocker. And Heather was sat next to me and she said, I'm selling mine. So, yeah, I've got a new overlocker coming. I'm buying her, so that'll be quite exciting. I'll keep you updated on that. I'm going to go because I look dreadful and um, I need my bed. I'm tired. I'm always tired, aren't I? I looked at the clock earlier. I thought it must be bedtime. I've got my sewing out and I was cold. And I want to get these finished for tomorrow. I think that's another thing, isn't it? When, you, when you've got, like, a deadline. Um... I mean, I haven't exactly got a deadline, but I want them, you know, I want them to wear them. We've only got a week left before Christmas and I would like them to wear them. But that's the thing, isn't it? When you've got a bit of a deadline, sometimes when you're under pressure, it takes the fun out of sewing. Maybe it was that. But yeah, I looked at it. I thought it must be late now and it was 20 past eight. I could have gone to bed. And what's up with me? And you're going to think I'm always moaning about how tired I am. I'm so sorry. Don't. Yeah. Sorry. Apologise. I'm just looking at my dead plant over there that my mother-in-law bought me. Yeah, I think I've killed it somewhere. <laughs> I digress. I'm going to go. I will slip this into my proper video somewhere. So I'm off to Bedfordshire. Night. Right, I'm back. <laughs> I presume I've st stuck the video in there somewhere. So I'll start off with uh, what I've been up to. I, um, I was a bit naughty uh, a couple of weeks before Christmas. And I, 7 o'clock in the morning, I woke up. I bought a machine, so my machine broke, my Janome machine broke. I've always had a Janome and it was quite an expensive machine at the time, but it must be about 10 years old now. It was one of the cruelty ones, it was lovely, but it broke. I did um, ask if I could get it repaired and it was it would cost too much money, so I was on a bit of a tight budget and I bought another Janome machine, which is okay, it's all right, but I would say it's kind of like, I don't know, it kept skipping stitches, which I found out since may have been me actually. I'll cut that bit out. Anyway, I bought this Janome machine and uh, yeah, it was it was okay, but I think I'm a little bit spoiled. I've been used to, um, you know, having the deluxe model. So seven o'clock one morning at, around the Christmas period, I, uh, I woke up and by half past seven, I ordered myself a new Janome machine. So um, I had it delivered. I didn't tell my husband I was at work. And I said, I've just got, I've got something coming. <laughs> well, I got this message, this text message at work. Don't tell me you've spent you know, all this money on a machine. He Googled how much it was. So yeah, I wasn't in his good books for a few days. But that was my present to myself, so um, my sewing machine. And I also bought myself an overlocker. One of the ladies at the sewing social was selling her overlocker. So with my birthday money off my mum, I got myself an overlocker. So I was quite, uh, had quite a good Christmas in the sewing um, stakes. Yeah, so I've got a new, new lovely new um, Janome which I don't know how to use I've literally only used two stitches but saying that I made quite a lot over uh, I only had a couple of days off over Christmas but those two days I really did so well I say a lot it was a lot for me um, so I'll show you them the one is what I'm wearing so this is the South Bank sweater dress by Nina Lee and I I made the top I've shown you the material I had this from Pound Fabrics so I made it as a sweater. I used, I didn't use ribbon on the cuffs and the neck. But I used ribbon around the bottom here. Oh, <laughs> don't see that. No one wants to see my belly. I have to film portrait and then I spread it out when I edit it. And I'm not sure what you can see. So I hope you see it saw that. Anyway, I used black ribbon on the, um, on the band. I bought two meters of this material. I went a little bit longer in the sleeves, I think. I went about an inch longer on the sleeves. And did I lengthen this? I can't remember. I think I lengthened the body a little bit as well to get, you know, a good length. 
So uh, to add to two meters, I managed to get the sweater. And I also made this, which is the billy dress and the pockets inside out on that one. So I'll show you the pockets, it's got pockets. I love the pockets in this, they're in the right place, they're deep enough, they're just, yeah, they're cool. They don't show when you're wearing it, you know, they don't look bulky or you can't see it, um, you can't see them. So yeah, I love, 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 love the pockets in that. So that's, that was my, um, I can't remember which way around I made it actually, but yeah, this was another make on my new machine. I just seem to whip them up really fast. We had my grandson on uh, New Year's Eve and I was sewing and he was like, so I've got it, I've also got it in the lounge now. I've got it set up all in the lounge. And he was going, Nanny, I can't hear the telly. So yeah, I was sewing up a storm on New Year's Eve. So I remember I did make this actually on New Year's Eve. So I think this was my second make. Anyway, whichever way around it was. That is um, the Billy dress. I use cuffing, black cuffing on the sleeves, the neck band and the hem. And I don't think I made any modifications. No, I don't think I lengthened the sleeve either. I'm sorry, I'm a terrible vlogger, aren't I, with the information? But yeah, I think that was just literally as the pattern went. So I was really happy with that. I love that, I've worn it loads, wore it on holiday. So we've just been on holiday for a week to the Lake District. Um, so yeah, that's two meters. Didn't do bad, did I? I got a billy dress and a uh, South Bank sweater. And then another two metres I bought from, did I say Rainbow Fabrics? I meant to say Pound Fabrics. Pound Fabrics, these materials are from. So another two metres I bought was this one. And this again is the billy. I made this first, actually, this is my first billy. Again, it's got pockets in it. Love it. Worn it to death. Um, ribbon. I use ribbon. I'm suddenly a fan of ribbon never used it before um but yeah it does make a difference well, it seems to make a difference in some some patterns it doesn't kind of like pull anyway you know what i'm talking about hopefully so i made that i've got two meters of that and i made the billy dress and also i made a t-shirt now i can't understand how i managed to squeeze out a billy dress and then i struggled to squeeze this out of two meters and yet I got a billy dress and this out to two meters. Maybe I had a little bit more, I didn't actually measure it. Sometimes pound fabrics give you a little bit extra, don't they? Possibly that's what happened because I've I'm, I, I managed, I struggled to squeeze anything else out, but I made, this is the Tammy Handmade, got the thread there. Tammy Handmade Naya t-shirt. Um, last summer, people, uh, a lot of vloggers were making these, loads of vloggers and I did make I think I made two, I made one for me, well, no, I made a couple actually. I made one for my mum and me and then I made one in woven. And yeah, so I've got one of these up, but I did have to cut the back in two pieces. You can't actually see, but it's got a seam up the back. To get it out of the material, I cut it out of, cut the back out of two pieces. But I mean, yeah, it's lovely t-shirts. And again, I used the ribbon just on the neckband for that one. And then just hem the bottom. So those are my makes or since Christmas. Not too bad for me. January, what we are on, it's January the 15th today, 15th of January. So it hasn't been that long since I spoke to you, ages. Um, yeah, not bad for me, 15th of January and I've got four makes. So what did I get for Christmas? I only got a couple of sewing um, related things, but I was really happy with what I got. I'll show you these. This was off my son. I did have to tell them what I wanted. But uh, I wanted some KTAM sweary labels, so I got those. I won't read it out. Yeah, so I was quite happy with those, so I'm really excited. I'm actually going to make the Merchant and Mills um, Whitaker pinafore dress. I've got some black um, needle cord, baby needle cord, which I have shown you, and I'm going to make that and seamstress ruth who's got a vlog she's made it i was actually a her secret santa so i got the pattern for as a secret santa present so obviously i've got the pattern now as well um, she's made it up in a lovely uh, like a like a cinnamon orangey cinnamon color it's gorgeous and i noticed she got a, her label on the outside and it says you're gorgeous it's really nice so i'm actually going to put a sweary label on the back of mine a bit naughty i know but uh, yeah i'm going to put it on the outside so i'll show you that mate that's one of my one of my plans so I got that and I dropped my husband a hint. I'd seen this um, 
yeah, it came up in one of my emails and I, I sent it to my husband and never dreamt that he would get me this. But say so my birthday's the 20th of December, so on my birthday, I opened my presents and uh, I, I opened this. And I knew he'd said that he got it from some kind of like crafty place, but I never, really never put two and two together. And I remember opening the box and I said to him, I mean, look at that. I was like, well, this isn't very good, is it? I said, for a you know, crafty person, they've just got a horrible tatty box. Well, he'd actually ripped the label off so I wouldn't know what it was as soon as I opened it, which worked because I didn't. Because I was like, oh, it's a bit tatty, isn't it? For a, you know, for a, what do you call it? You know, a crafty person who sells the wares. <laughs> anyway, I was so surprised when I opened it. And I'll show you what it is. And oh, I'm so pleased with it. It's from Little Miss So-and-So. And it's her bag kit. I can't remember which bag it is now. Or can I? Here we are. So I saw this. It's the Wonder Bag. There you go. All set to sew. So it was an all set to sew kit for December, or I don't know. All set to sew. Show us your bag. Yeah. Um, and that's, yeah, so I've got the instructions really happy with that and then I've not actually studied it I've just opened it and I was so overjoyed honestly I couldn't believe that he'd done that the best thing I love about this bag is that oh gosh just look at that handle it's just amazing I just love the handle that's what really sold the bag to me I probably would have bought this kit if he hadn't bought it for me so you get a bit of binding not sure if you can still get these on the website to be fair whether they're sold out, whether she's still got some. So you get lots of crafty bits. So I've not studied this at all. I literally opened it and there's been such a lot going on. I've not had time. I am excited to get to it. So I chose the this colourway. So that is to make the bag that goes on the front. So that's the bag on the front. Can you see? And then you get a zip. Quite a decent zip. I'm presuming that's the lining. Yeah, that must be the lining. And then I chose the blue colourway. I can't remember what the other colourway was. Maybe it was that colourway. Can't remember. But I like the blue. And then you get uh, you get your interlining and bits and pieces in there. All the boring bits but they're necessary and very good quality she always does good, good quality stuff so that was what was in that box we all set to sew and that was my birthday present well one of them actually you really spoiled me um he got me back and some earrings and some bits and pieces and then because he'd spent such a lot on me for my birthday he didn't spend a lot of christmas but i'm not complaining i'm not spoiled and then, yeah, we, didn't, we, we decided not to really buy each other for Christmas. And then last minute I felt a bit bad and I dashed off. I didn't buy him a fat lot really. I just bought him some bread making things. So he got me some smellies. And yeah, but he spent, some, spent too much on me really for my birthday as I thought. So I certainly wasn't complaining. I was like, you shouldn't have spent all that. Anyway, I'm really happy with that. So that was Christmas. Christmas, Christmas. I really should vlog more often, but I just don't seem to get the time. So, uh, as I say, we went away. What else have we been up to? We went away um, recently. Went to the Lake District. We came back on... When did we come back? We came back the weekend. Just gone. So, I say it's Monday the 15th today. And while we were away in the Lake District, I went to this lady's shop. She was the first... Um, sewing vlogger that I stumbled up across when I, I used to be a knitter and she got me back into sewing. I say got back into sewing because I used to sew years ago but I never used to dress make. I won't bore you with all that but anyway um, yeah so she kind of like got me back into the dressmaking and she was one of the first vloggers that I watched and so we stayed at I can't remember the name of it where we stayed it was by somewhere we walked I don't know but anyway Barrow in Furnace Jenny Stitches 
she yeah she's got shopping barrow infirmus that was barrow infirmus that was about 45 minutes from where we stayed something on the sea oh i don't know no because honestly i forget so we yeah we drove and we went to see her and I and she was a lovely lovely lady took some pictures and uh, yeah had a, had a nice visit i'd already looked on her website actually before i went and had a sneaky peek and i'd seen this and i couldn't resist isn't that lovely i bought two meters of that that's from dashwood studios well that's a dashwood studios it was from jenny stitches and then I got that as well. That was on the desk when I walked in. As soon as I walked in, I saw that and it was lovely. And another lady came in and she was looking at it. And I was like, mm, I really like that. And that is a fabric godmother, apparently. And I think it was 1.4 metres there, she said. So I bought that. Little cheeky remnant there. So that was my Jenny Stitches visit. And I was so pleased to get there. To say she's a fan. I'm a fan of Jenny Stitches. I follow her. Watched her when she opened a new shop and... Yeah, I've been following her for ages, so it was lovely. Couldn't go all the way to Lake District and not visit her, could I? I wouldn't have been there. Oh, cat hairs floating around. Um, so through the post on Saturday, my subscription to the Bias Appreciation Society. It's Becky Seamstress, that's it. I was thinking, who is this? There's so many names. Specky seamstress. This, the cat has really been on the bed because everything's covered in cat hairs and they're floating around. A long haired cat. Anyway. Oh, that's cute. So it makes me... Oh, I've got two. Stitched with love. How come we've got two? Maybe one's January and one's December. So it makes me happy. And stitched with love. Aren't they cute? I can't remember what last month was or the first one. So this is my second subscription now. Did I order it? Maybe I ordered. I think I ordered a little bit extra. So one was, I don't know. One's a subscription and then the other one I ordered, I think. Don't know. No plus. Yeah, they're cute, aren't they? I wasn't as excited as I should be then. It's because I'm talking and I wasn't paying attention and I've not actually opened these. Yeah, they're nice. So that's that. Get one of those every month. I think it costs about five pounds. It's worth it, really. Nice to have a little something to open, isn't it, every month? Um, I went to the sewing social as well um, on Saturday, so that was nice. I had a lovely day. We weren't supposed to be back till Sunday, but um, it was so cold and we kind of had enough. I didn't feel well at the beginning of the week, and Steve didn't feel well towards the end of the week, so. We said on Friday, should we just go home? So I was like, do you mind if I go to the same essential Saturday then? I'd already said I wasn't going, so they, but they managed to squeeze me in, bless them. Sally, she said, uh, yeah, you can come. So I went and it was nice. And I won the raffle. I've not won before. I've been going now nine months, I think, maybe. It, it, yeah, and I've never won the raffle. And every week, every month I've been like, never win. So I won the raffle. She does two prizes she usually does like a main prize and then like a bit less of a prize if that makes sense um but this time she did two main prizes and uh yeah i was so thrilled when when i saw what i won i couldn't believe it i was just like kind of goes in a little bit of shock i just stood there with my ticket i won i didn't like afterwards i thought i didn't i didn't i wasn't very excited then but i was it was just i think i was in shock anyway Pink, pink subscription box. I've never had one of these. And just the box itself is like, I didn't want to open it. Adele from Sofa Serenity won the other prize, the second prize. So she got exactly the same. And she ripped hers open and got it open. And I was still stood looking at the box. So I was a bit, um, yeah. I just love that box. I love tins and boxes. Yeah, so this is the December subscription. So hopefully anyone who has the, subs the December subscription um has already opened this so i'm not doing a spoiler so i got the pink the pink whoops adele got the blue like a navy blue and um she said to me had she have got the pink and i'd got the blue we'd have probably swapped because like so it was just perfect so you get a little bit of organic bias tape an instant hot chocolate some lovely smelly candles 
winter morning may smell amazing gutting and thread i love gutting and threads lately and then this is just so i've not actually had it out of the box but i think there's about two and a half meters here it's lovely Sorry, I always have to sniff. No clue what I'm going to do with it. But I love that. I don't want to make a card again. I shall have to see what the girls do with hers. And I think Becky from Bex, yeah, Bex, from Bex, Bex, so she subscribes. Oh, there's a few subscribers, isn't there? I'm going to have to have a look for some inspiration. But I don't want a cardigan. I'm not really a cardigan person, me. Don't wear them. I want to make something, obviously, that I'm going to wear. So that was, yeah, well worth coming home for, wasn't it? <coughs> winning, winning the raffle. Dead chuffed with that. Uh, yeah, I might subscribe now. Try not to spend on fabric because I'll show you in a minute, but I've had another spend and, oh, that was my ticket. Number 100. I actually want to keep that. I don't know why, I'm just a bit sentimental. Um, yeah, I thought to myself this morning, I need to slow down on spending. I mean, I don't spend a fortune. Well, I suppose I do. I don't know. Depends what perspective you put on it, doesn't it, really? But, um, yeah, I need to slow down on the spending now because I seem to be getting, like, piles of fabric and I don't get time to sew as much as I'd like. I mean, today's been my day off. And what time are we on 25 past two and i'm not still not got to my sewing machine because i've got other commitments and things i've had to do today i've had to take my son to do his theory test um and fail but never mind so yeah i just seem like on my days off i just have so much to do so i don't seem to get a chance to sew so i need to sew the fabric i've got and stop spending so my plans i want to make the whitaker dress as i've said i've printed that off my printer's down there just finished printing. I'd like to make the Ilford jacket. I've had my eye on that for a while. I've noticed a few people have put that in there, make nines, and I'm like, yeah, I need to do that. I had some material because I used to subscribe to, um, I can never remember her name, the bag lady, um, Little Miss So and So. I used to have her all set to sew, and I got one one month, which was some lovely denim, but I didn't like the pattern. So I'm going to do the um, Ilford jacket, I think, in that with some kind of snazzy lining. What else do I want to do? Blouse, some description, don't know yet. But yeah, I've got a few ideas. I printed off, oh yeah, I've printed off the Friday Pattern Company Bateau top. I'm probably not pronouncing that correctly. It's just um, a simple, like, kind of like long sleeve jersey top. Printed that off this morning. That was a free pattern. Um, so I want to do one of those. What have I printed this morning? The Ilford jacket. Oh, the Whitaker dress. I think that's it those three patterns don't know when i'll get around to the ilford to be fair it's not on my priority list but i thought while i'm printing i'll print off that pattern um so i'll just show you my pound fabrics haul and then we're nearly done that's not bad 23 minutes we're up to at the minute and i'm counting <laughs> i don't want to bore you all and then obviously my other video that i slid in i think that's about 10 minutes long Oh, excuse me. Right, so this is Pound Fabrics. This is a bit of a splurge. I got ribbing. All of a sudden, I've never really used ribbing. I've made um, Albie a few outfits, like in Jersey steaks, and I've not used ribbing. And until I actually tried it, I thought I did ribbing you just use the material but I, yeah I love it I love contrasting and I just love the effect it makes so yeah I did I've had some different colours to go with bits and pieces that I'm doing so that was that that's the boring bit my list so this is cheetah colour changing jersey fabric now again I've saved this box it came before we went away but I saved it because I wanted to actually open it with you guys um, but I have opened it, I have cheated and I've had a quick look um, but I've not actually got it out and had a feel and a, a sniff and all that <laughs> I've been saving it for this vlog so this is quite different it's um, cheetah colour changing jersey fabric apparently when you go outside it changes colour or in different lights it changes colour, I don't know 2 metres, 
And notice it says it's a jersey, so it's stretch. But it hasn't got that much stretch in it. And it's kind of like, I don't know, it's a, I don't know how you describe that fabric, to be fair. It's not jersey jersey, it's not like this. It's a bit stiffer. But I like that. I do like that, that's nice. So that's that one. Two metres of that. Oh, when I opened the box, I only opened it last night. I opened it because I wanted the box, but that's another story. <laughs> I was going to take the fabric out of the box. Anyway, um, yeah, I opened it last night and I just quickly saw, and I thought, I'll show you this one. I've got this. I didn't order this. And I've actually already got this on my previous order. So I checked my invoice and I haven't been charged for this. No idea why, why they sent it me. I've never got free material off them before. Is it a mistake or is it because I'm a regular? Or, or well, I wouldn't say regular, but I've ordered a few things just lately. But shame I've already got it. I paid for it last time I placed an order. I don't know. So Pound Fabrics, thank you very much. Um, Yeah, I was going to put it on the swaps table, but then I might make, is it the kilo dress? I've wanted to make that for ages and ages and ages and I always associate it with a summer dress can't think is it paper theory it's the one where it's got those strange pull outs that you tie it round and yeah I'm kind of like worried about making that pattern because I'm thinking oh is it actually is it going to suit me but I might make a wintry style out of this and then it won't matter too much if I um if I ruin ruin it or it doesn't suit me or because I've already got this material and it was free so thank you Pound Fabrics <laughs> So that's my plan with that one and then i was this is it's all beck so's fault this this purchase because i was watching her blog and she was wearing this material she'd made a dress i don't know what it was um so yeah she totally enabled me <laughs> i blamed her i saw her on saturday and i said it's your fault i spent um yeah rather too much money but she was wearing a dress in this fabric isn't that gorgeous i just love it and she, oh, she was swishing around in it, and I'm like, oh, I want that. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? I just, yeah, love it. Purple is not really my colour, but I don't know. There's something about it. It's more, lilac isn't my colour either, but it's the pinks and the whole, I don't know. It's just really me, really right up my street. I love that. So again, another two metres. And my ribbon, you see, because I don't like purples. I thought that would go perfectly. Let me show you. See? So that's my lilac ribbon to go with that. That was my theory behind that one because I've never used it as a lilac. Or, or, yeah, it's just not. I don't know why. I think they quite suit me. Because when I did my makeup thing once, like eyeshadow and things, because I've got green eyes, they said uh, aubergines and, and purples. And yeah, and I had a fad about purple, <laughs> purple eyeliner and. My daughter didn't like it. She said, Mum, you look like your eyes are all bloodshot. Anyway, you can't say. Um, yeah, so that's that one. And then this one. This is lovely as well. So these are all jerseys. Got a bit of a jersey. I haven't got many jerseys in my stash, you see. So I thought, oh, I need to stock up. Because I need more billies and south banks in my life. And a few more tops. Because all my tops that I've got that I've bought, like, from shops... The sleeves are never long enough, they drive me mad. Or you wash them and they go out of shape, horrible. So my aim is to make a top and a charity shop, a shop bought one, replace. So that is my aim, that's what I want to do. And I've decided I hate my Davenport dress, that's going in the charity shop bag as well. But I'm not giving up on the pattern completely. I know, sorry, jumping subjects, but I've just thought about the charity shop. Yeah, that's going as well. Don't like it. Put it on yesterday. And I said to Steve, I said, sure, we were, we we're going to look at a house. We, yeah, we're selling our house. And so that's a different story. So I'll put this dress on. And I said to Steve, what do you think? And he went, oh, no, you look like your Auntie Margaret. <laughs> no, he loves my Auntie Margaret. And I love my Auntie Margaret. But I don't, don't really, you know, she's in her late 70s, bless her. <laughs> and I was like, uh, yeah, I don't like it. So that's it, finally. That is going in the charity shop. But... I will revisit the pattern, I think, in a different material, and I'm going to try again and see. 
I think the whole material makes a whole difference, doesn't it? Anyway, I digress. This one is another one. Love that as well. I think I saw one of the ladies at the Sony Social using this. I can't remember who. Maybe Heather. Maybe a couple of ladies. And I saw it when they were sewing with it. And I was like, oh, that's nice. And then didn't realise they'd got it for Crown Fabrics until I was shopping. And I saw it and I'm like, oh, that's lovely. That's that lovely one. So, yeah, I couldn't resist that. Love that colour. And then I may have, yeah, I did get a ribbing to match that look. Very, very on cohorts, aren't I? coordinating my sewing so that's that and then last but not least I think I saw this one on so Sarah's styles she made something I can't remember but yeah this is cheap as chips this is it's ridiculous this is melange I'm probably saying that wrong jersey fabric in khaki and it's £1.75 a metre I mean really ridiculous I mean, they're all cheap, 750 a metre, all the others. Crazy, isn't it? The cuffing's £5 for um, a piece. And you get quite a lot. All that for a fiver. And I actually cut mine up the side and then spread it out and use it that way. So I've got, you know, a little bit more. So I haven't got so much wastage. I'm a little bit, I don't like waste. Try and squeeze every every little inch of the pattern out of, out of my material. I'm terrible. I never look at the cutting out layouts. But yeah, one pound seventy five. So I bought four meters of that, and I want to make the no, no, Naomi dress. Is it? I don't know. I can't think. Sorry, can't remember who my, who's the designer of that one. But that's what I want to make with that. Uh, because again, that's another pattern I'm not quite sure about whether it will suit me, but I've, been, I've had my eye on it for ages. The Naomi or the Nomi or something. It's quite a long jersey dress. And I thought, well, if it doesn't suit me, I haven't ruined too much, even though I do like that. And I do like my green. So that's that. That's my haul. I also got some Butterman threads. Very boring, I know. But I haven't got, I've got two, you know, enough room woods. I've got two spools of the Mariflex in my stash, mm -hmm. so we're obviously boring him. I needed some more, so I got those colours, greens, blues and a couple of creams. And then the Mariflex, I think they are, they should be. Yeah, Mariflex, Gutterman Mariflex, they're all, yeah, and they were £3.40 each. That's not bad at all, is it? So that's that. Reading wise, um, I haven't had time. I have read a book. Me being me, I can't remember. It was it wasn't bad. It was that good that I can't remember what it was. Oh, the Stolen Sisters. Yes, it was good. The Stolen Sisters by Louise Jensen. Um, trying to find the cover to show you. Sorry. There you go. Stolen Sisters by Louise Jensen. I've just finished that. Oh, a little shiny chin, aren't I? Shiny face. Um, yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed that. Quite a twist. That's all I've read, really. I'm really trying, really, really desperately trying to get back into my reading because I never used to be without a book in my hand. But life and sewing and everything else has taken over, and I just don't seem to get the time. I'll just quickly show you my bears. Oh, I won't go on about them too much because obviously not everybody's interested in bears. I've just recently, I was after an avenue to sell them on. I've got an Etsy shop, and I've just recently, oh dear. <laughs> I've just recently um, joined Bear Pile, so I've got them on Bear Pile, hoping to sell a few. So this little chappy <laughs> hasn't got a name. I made him. He's been made a while actually. He's just sat. I need to dress him. I uh, called him Cat Airs now. He's only literally been up in five seconds. 
so that's that one I made this one just I cut this out just before we went away and I made him while we were away he hasn't got a name either and for some reason it's, this is kind of like a new design for me it's a little bit big well it's a lot bigger obviously than the ones I've been making recently um, I don't particularly like the bears making bears that are too large but there's something about this and something about him and I don't want to part with him I don't know why and his jacket was a bit of an experiment as well and I, it's not right I mean no one else would tell but I know it's not you know the sleeves are very tight and but I don't know what it is I've never kept one of my own bears but I I think I'm keeping him crazy I was going to give him to Stace but then would she appreciate him would she look after him I don't know maybe so I've never made any of my kids a bear. I've been doing it, making bears since 1993 and I've never made them a bear. Look, see the inside of his lining of his coat. I don't know, there's just something about him. I want to keep him. So he's not going for sale. Watch this space. I've just sold my spinning machine, my, my wool spinning machine. That's really, yeah, a bit wounded about that, but I, I haven't got time. Sat there like a really fancy ornament, so. That's just gone. And another, yeah, another aside. So, another big one. Or big for me. He hasn't got a name yet and he's not finished. I took him with me to the sewing social because I didn't know what to take. It was all kind of like last minute. So, I just took him and I finished him off there. Um, he hasn't got a name and he needs a coat. And he is actually the same pattern as this one. I couldn't believe would you like the mohair makes such a difference. He looks bigger, doesn't he? He looks completely different. But that is the same pattern. I mean, even his legs and everything look chunkier. But yeah, it's mad, isn't it? Just because he's a longer pile mohair. So that's him. So that's my hand sewing. Is what I tend to do in the evening. So that's me. I'm going to wrap it up now. 37 minutes plus my 10 minutes for my Christmas video. You're gonna say bye Woods. Ah, we're going to walk now. Still got, yes, we're going to walk, aren't we? Got some daylight left. Yes, because mommy's at work all week now. We won't get time, we'll have to just go in the dark, won't we? <laughs> Soft as a bush. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, if you'd like to drop me a like or a comment, I really appreciate it. And any subscribers, I really appreciate. Thank you for taking the time out for watching my video today. Hope you enjoyed it and happy sewing. Bye. <laughs> okay, practice run. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Move this over a bit. Move that there. Are we in? Yeah. Try that. La 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 la